Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. We're talking about a fairly extraordinary event as we have a full moon scheduled for Friday the 13th. Looks like we haven't seen one of those in a while, not since October 2000. And the last time it happened in June was 1919. The next time it's scheduled to happen, October 2019. Farmer's Almanac calls it a strawberry moon as it's happening during strawberry season. Drought monitor shows we have Star County and Hidalgo County coming back into the, well, into the drought map under moderate drought conditions. Overall, though, south and deep south Texas faring well so far, but as you know, it won't be long before dry conditions will lead us back into drought conditions far more widespread. Reservoir report, now this is a problem. Between the usage and evaporation, our water levels are down considerably. We're looking at uh, only about 652 billion gallons available. The two reservoirs combined can hold nearly two trillion gallons. And you can see Mexico owes the United States about 115 billion gallons in water out of the watershed. Remember, Mexico controls much of the watershed in northern and northeast Mexico, which then flows into the Rio Grande, which then flows into Lake Amistad and Falcon Lake, our reservoir system. So we're reliant not only on Mother Nature, we're also reliant on the government of Mexico to pay up its debt in water and allow that water to flow into those reservoirs. Futurecast takes you right on through with a frontal boundary cutting across Texas, generating more showers and thunderstorms on through the end of the week into the weekend, but then it slides off to the east. It comes up short on the valley, so we'll just continue to see hot and humid with southeast breezes. A Hurricane Christina blew up into a Cat 4 storm and is still forecast to move off into open water, so it's not really a threat to anyone, but still, it's fairly impressive. Tropical snapshot from the coast of Texas to the coast of Africa, a couple of tropical waves, but nothing significant. Futurecast takes you through the next couple of days with a look at 10 to 20, 30,000 feet up in the air. Lots of dry air still blanketing south and deep south Texas. You see some of that moisture north of us nearer that frontal boundary. But overall, folks, it's a desert up there. So even if we could kickstart a shower, it really wouldn't have much to work with. Seven-day forecast shows the hot and humid conditions continuing. Breezy. The southeast wind's going to take a little break moving in through Friday to Saturday, but then come back fairly aggressive, 15, 20, maybe 25 miles an hour on through the early part, even the middle of next week. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.